And Flight Director Ron Spencer is indicating that uh, the time of closest approach has come and gone. No impact uh, with this. We have no downlink. An unknown size. And uh, he uh, has told the flight control team uh, to stand by. Uh, before directing the Soyuz Creed to egress their respective vehicles. So once again, uh, a precautionary maneuver. This has been uh, performed before. Uh, this is not standard. This is not We're something... looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. At this moment, the predicted time of closest approach of this unknown piece of space... Uh, go and throttle up. Cameras on trust. Starboard in front of the vehicle. Predicted the station by an overall distance between 11 and 14 kilometers and field mist distance that has fluctuated throughout the day, now estimated to range up about 100 years or so, either above or below the so-called three-dimensional box that the ballistics officers use in tracking the close approach of an object to the International Space Station. I don't see anything. Is orbiting at altitude the good of 264 news. statute miles, moving from the northwest. I keep an ID on the Ed Space Station through his color. Ground two. Sheets of post of about one minute from the TCA. AP used the auxiliary power unit. 2257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Very careful. Uh, threat to the space station. Danny is uh, making. Uh, Handheld documentation with the uh, 400 millimeter uh, lens. Clear of the object, the size of which has not yet been conclusively determined, even though the trajectory operations officer has characterized the object as, as this hour. Folks in mission control is expected to be just 250 meters, around 820 feet. So we're standing by now for that time of closest. My approach. God. 65% shortly. Don't know what the effect might be just yet. The astronauts will take a look later on. 